Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, Face Yoga. It's Tsumika from the Face Yoga Method. How was your weekend? For me, this weekend was all about digital detox. I had a big um, live training on Saturday and Sunday. I didn't even want to take my phone with me and just left it there in my office and I did a digital detox. How did I feel? I felt great. I didn't miss it. And the funny thing is because I left it in my office and I didn't go to my office so that I was able to really separate myself from my phone and I was able to spend very, very quality time with my family. So if you want to try digital detox, do it. And it's kind of funny because I'm talking to you using the platform of this, you know, social media, but once in a while, it's so important because we really need to focus on one thing and one thing is focus on ourselves. All right, so tell me what you did this weekend. And hello, Georgie, hello, good to have you here. Yeah, hello, Nisrim, hi, nice to have you here. Yes, so hi, Angie, it's so nice to have you here too. All right, so, um, did you enjoy the free training this Saturday? Speaking of free training this Saturday, there were so many of you and I was blown away all the participants, but also how people get so excited and what they're looking for. And I really appreciate and thank you so much for those able to join. We loved it. And also big thanks to my sister-in-law, Maria, who joined me. It's nice to have her next to me, not you know physically, but we had virtual you know webinars and she was with me so that was great all right so today i want to give you the first routine of boot camp you know if you don't know what a boot camp is i'll show you what you know what is like to be in a boot camp and before we begin let me know how you feel today can you put in the number Zero is no stress. You are perfectly relaxed. You feel like you're vacationing. And 10 is you're so stressed out. I like to hear from you. Why? Because we need to know where we are at right now. And it's okay to get stressed out. But the way you train yourself is how you pull yourself out of the stressful situation. If you are stressed out, just understand, oh, I'm stressed out. And then you move to not stressed out stage, how you can do it. There's lots of techniques, but I think the first step is, you know, to understand where you're at. Okay, Rebecca, you are 10. All right, I'm going to calm your stress level down lower after this uh, live, okay? And how about other, okay, I can't pronounce your name, sorry. It's 10, all right. 10 is, yeah, it's a lot of stress and it's okay. Okay, Mikhail, it, my, oh, it's six. That's not bad. Okay, 10, yep, 10 and a six. All right, 10, Christina, 10, all right. So three, Sophia, that's good. Your stress level is not too hard and yep, okay. And Tinana, uh, Tiwana, three. I hope I'm asking it correctly. Okay, so we not six. Okay, three. Okay, Yvonne, 10. All right, so many people have a stress level 10 and a Suzanne is seven-ish. All right, how about we do some relaxation pose first and release the tension from the back and from here, okay? Chest and back. And I think some of you know already, but I love this pose. Why? Because physically we open our chest and we open our heart and release attention. And when you do this, you feel the release of tension dramatically. So I want to introduce this. If you don't know, do it together. If you know it, let's do it together because I think you can get a benefit, right? There's a big muscle right here. Everything's connected from head to toe. Patricia, you're eight, stress level eight. Okay, Sandra is a five, okay, Milena is seven, okay, we need to really lower the stress level down, okay? I think I have a lot of stress today too. It's okay, because I'm gonna, you know, um, reduce the stress level down to almost like two or one or even zero. All right, so look at this. Everything is connected head to toe. So right here, we carry lots of stress, okay? How many of you, you feel a stress right now, right here? Back of the head, if so, tap right there, tap, tap, whoa, tap it, and release the tension from there. Do you feel that tension there? Okay, feel it, feel it right there. Okay, I'm gonna 
get my assistant here. Yeah, I'd call her Scott. Oops, Scotty. Right here. Right here, we have a lots of stress. And we need to tap it or we need to release it. Okay, that's the first step. Ah, oh, feel it. You feel good? All right. Okay, and next one is we are going to do some pulse. Yep, one of the face yoga method of pauses. If you're a boot campers, you are going to do this pose. First, you imagine that your tailbone, find the tailbone, okay? Tailbone, going to the floor. Find it. You find that tailbone, okay? The little carve, okay? Tiny, tiny bone. And then your spine is all the way up. Imagine your zip up. You're zipping up something, okay? Imaginally zip up, zip up, zip up, zip up, zip up. So when you zip up, what do you do? When you zip up, you instantly lift your chin up, right? That's what we do. We want to hold this posture. We don't want to zip up like I'm going to zip up. No, we don't do that. When we zip up, we naturally lift the chin up. So we want to have this posture. Did you get that? Okay. We zip it up. I'm going to zip up all the way up and whoa. Okay. My pinky is touching my chin. I want to keep this posture. All right. Good. And now your shoulder, um, your hands are in the shoulders. We are going to do the chest opener. Okay. And breathe in and out from your nose. Nasal breathing is so important. You really calm yourself down because we need to just focus on ourselves today. Okay? And especially for those who have a stress level high, just calm down a little bit. Breathe in and out from your nose. And then breathe in and elbows together. Can you put your elbows together? Look straight and Elbows up, 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 up. When you cannot breathe in anymore or elbows up anymore, that's when you want to separate your elbows, okay? Separate your elbows and with your elbows, draw a big circle. It's like, ooh, and you might hear some creaking sound like, wow, tight. Let's do more. Breathe in. And separate your elbows and big, big, big circle. Go slow and ooh, breathe out. Do you feel that? You're opening a chest. It's called a chest opener. Breathe in, elbows together. And when you cannot breathe in anymore, that's when you separate your elbows and oh, push down. And imagine that you're squeezing orange between your shoulder blades. God, right here, right here. Okay, did you get that? Okay. A little bit more, breathe in and a separate and a push down your shoulder blades. Good, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do a little bit more, two more. How about two more? Breathe in and oh, breathe out. Beautiful. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. Oh, good. Now, do you feel that little opening? We are going to do it a little differently. I'm going to challenge you because I think many of us need a little bit more physical exercise, don't you think? Because we were staying inside of the house, many of us. So what we are going to do is same kind of idea, but we are going to alternate, right? We are going to alternate the, uh, the arm. So it means one elbow up, okay? And this actually tone your torso. And you can even get the nice flat tummy too. So what we're going to do, we are going to oop, elbow up and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. From your nose, breathe in and out. <sighs> breathe in and out. Breathe in, out. Let's do diagonal. Breathe in. Do you feel that? Your torso, your oblique, a really nice stretch. You're getting a nice stretch. And breathe in. And out. Breathe in and out. Let's do it. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in and out. And the palms up and close your eyes. Breathe in and out. How do you feel? Do you feel sensation you just created? 
Do you feel your chest is open, heart open? Do you feel that? Okay. I'm going to challenge you a little bit more because I think we need to stimulate our brain a little bit too. Of course, the body exercise. So what we are going to do is a little tricky. I don't know um, if you can see me. Can you see me well? All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to alternate. So one elbow up from forward, right? Okay, up. And then the other one come from behind. Whoa, do you see that? All right, one come up and one come from behind. Whoa, Ooh, do you feel that? I really feel like a shoulder. Imagine that what you're doing, okay? Imagine that you're really activating all the muscles from here all the way up, especially right here, moving your elbows. So one up from, whoo, from four, okay? And then the other one come from backward, yes. Good, good, Anna, you got it? Okay, good. All right, Lily, feel good? Wonderful. Yes, and breathe in, out, breathe in, out. Nasal breathing is important. Breathe in from the nose, and when you cannot breathe in anymore, that's when you breathe out. Ooh. Okay, let's switch the position. It's harder. This side up, the other one up from behind. Can you see me? Whoa, you have to train your brain. Like, whoa, it's a little hard. But by doing this, you're gonna feel so good. And uh, you're feeling the torso, especially right here in the tummy area, do you feel it? We are really stimulating lots of muscles and you might even feel the lower back getting stimulated and activated. Wonderful, go, let's go. Okay, one more breathe in from your nose out from your nose and let's put a hand on your palm i mean uh, palm on your heart another one on your belly oh can you find your heartbeat do you feel the heartbeat i'm feeling it breathe in very deeply from your nose and let's breathe out ah, keep your eyes closed please breathe in Let's breathe out from your mouth, say <sighs> One more time, breathe in. From your mouth. <sighs> Wonderful, come out. How do you feel? All right, tell me your stress level. Zero is no stress. 10 is stressed out. I like to know. Put the number here, please, before I move on to the next, bus, uh, next pose. Because it's important to understand what makes you feel more relaxed? In just one pause, we did less than five minutes and I feel so relaxed right now. I'm so relaxed because I move my body, but I really, um, you know, deeply took a breath from my nose. Okay, good, thank you, Milena, good, thank you. Okay, some, good, I love it, one. Okay, wonderful, good. So Samantha, it's one. Okay, ooh, I love it, Alexandra. It's zero, see, it's good. I don't remember all the numbers before. Oh, it's it nine, okay. Uh, Martisa, you have to do it again, okay? And also, um, the one, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, is a nine, okay? I think it was a nine before. Do it, Ivana, one, okay, it's good. All right, so for those who still have a stress, do it again, you know, and also what you can do is you can do tapping. Tap the part, you feel tension. And close your eyes and only one minute or two minutes it calms you down and try that all right good good so Velasquez says much better from eight to six I love it all right we're gonna do more pause are you ready are you ready for next pause okay you know why we like to do this warm-up pause for boot camp or any face yoga method of pauses because everything is connected so imagine that you're so stressed out so stressed out, like, oh, I don't like, oh, I don't like Monday, oh, oh. And then you try, okay, forehead exercise, oh, oh, oh. It doesn't work that way. You need to release attention, big muscle first, and then you start kind of tuning into that more, you know, intricate muscle so that you can get the result. Do that make sense? So if your body's tense already, you need to release that first. And first thing is really important, don't skip the warm up, but also breathing in and out from the nose. Right, and if you have a, a sinus or allergy or something, I recommend nasal, you know, rinse, 
natty pot I do it twice a day it makes a huge difference how it makes a huge difference if I get congested I don't get enough air and compared to mouth breathing nasal breathing really deliver lots of oxygen to the body so that I feel more relaxed so if you go to bed when you wake up in the morning and you feel like you are not really rest you might need to kind of clean your night nasals and get rid of all the allergy or any symptoms that might be the reason you feel tired in the morning there's so many other causes but one thing I want to check is the nasal okay and if it's a hard do the acupressure push right here <sighs> push it you can use a pen you know you don't want to touch your face so push and use a pen right next to nasal right here okay is open up the sinuses and you feel so much more rested all right okay so Lily if you always have an allergy yeah do something maybe that even local honey I take local um, honey but also pollen bee pollen that helps a lot and I do nasal rinse and I need to clear my sinuses before I go to bed otherwise I don't feel I rested in the morning okay all right so are you ready for the second one okay so we are going to walk on the let's start from the forehead why like I said a little bit earlier we want to walk on the big body first uh, big muscles first okay and then we start walking on small muscles and then forehead muscles are pretty big look at this it's pretty big right right here all the way back connected so if you were stressed out oh tensing it Ugh, tensing is stressed out you probably have an even headache or you have a neck tightness and look at that because it's connected so it's not just because we want to get rid of the vertical lines horizontal line but for the for the uh, um, mental health we want to release that and relax that okay so what we are going to do is before we do the actual pose I want to wake up our face muscles are you ready we're gonna do this together so it is wow it's as simple as just saying wow but we are going to add something and you feel the difference okay so what we are going to do is we are going to use our body wow okay wow why because the body is so big bigger than the face muscles so when we say wow 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 it feels so good and also fingers though the peripheral you know peripheral um, what do you call the, the veins and everything we need to move we need to get rid of all the toxins and the first thing we need to do is stimulate and just move everything so when we say wow imagine that you're waking up all the facial muscles and you don't need to do ah you don't need to do this ah no wow wow waking up and open up everything so the chest open heart open remember the zip zipper okay we're gonna do this again so imagine that your tailbone is going straight to the floor and then sit nice and comfortably and put the zipper up imagine the zipper up zip 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 up and remember that pinky goes ping, lift this up because many of us are just texting it's not good we need to boop, lift this up okay and we're going to do wow 10 times together and let's use hands and fingers when you do wow okay tight tight really tighten your fingers and then when you say wow open up wow open really wide open up you feel good I guarantee you feel good ready okay breathe in and out from your nose sit tall zip up and pinky whoop wow 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 five more wow move your body wow the way you want to move wow three more wow wow last one let's do big one wow palms together to the heart center Breathe in and out from your nose. <sighs> How do you like it? Do you like it? All right. We are going to combine this wow and then detox is <sighs> okay. So what we're going to do is I want to put a hands on your shoulder again. 
So we say wow, wow, wow. And Okay, we are going to combine. The key is a posture. I don't want you to do wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Another thing is might as well just do exaggerated, you know? If you just look wow, 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 it doesn't make any sense. Wow, wow, open up, wow, okay? Ready? So three wow, wow, wow on detox. <laughs> Good, and when you do <laughs> imagine you're pushing all the air out from the belly. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Feel it. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Exaggerate it. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Open your eyes too. <sighs> A little bit more. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Let's put a hand. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Three more. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Last one. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Palms together. Breathe in and out from the nose. Palms to your heart center. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Listen to your heartbeat. How do you feel right now? How's your face? Do you feel awake how are your fingers do you feel some tingling sensations how are your shoulders how are your chest and heart take a deep breath from your nose and out from your nose one more time take a deep breath from your nose hold it for three seconds one two, three, and breathe out from your mouth. <sighs> Wonderful. All right, tell me, zero is a stress, stress out, like I'm so stressed out, and 10, no, I'm sorry, zero is no stress, and 10 is stressed out. Tell me, I need to know, okay? Zero is no stress, 10 is stressed out. Give me the number so that I know what I need to teach you next. All right, good, you feel good, amazing, awesome, Monique, good, feel amazing. I like to know the number. Give me the number zero. I love it, Mira, I love it, zero, see? It's so difficult when you're so relaxed, feeling wonderful. Yes, Linda, okay, good. Samantha Zella, ah, wow, love it. Okay, comment, I love it, good. Zello, Zello, is it amazing? Zello, okay, you feel amazing. So I need to know a little bit more. You feel better? Good, Yvonne, I think you had a higher number, right? Perfect, Elena, I love it, good. I'm at six, okay, you're going, it's not bad. Zello, and I'm feeling great. I love it, see? Yes, Zello, ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so we move the body, and then how about, okay, Eda, it's seven, but still better now. Good, down to four. Aiden is zero. See, zero. Pat is zero. I didn't do it. I just showed you and you did it. You listen to your body and you really have everything you need. All you have to do is just tune into that and release attention. And you know, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, my fingers are tight. And if I feel tightness, I just don't feel like, oh, moving around. So I need to just like think about the child or, you know, children. What do they do when they're stressed out or when they're angry? I don't want it. Uh, see, they know. Well, I should say we knew when we were younger. Well, we did is like uh, just just keep that stress uh, really tighten the body, and then I don't want it anymore. Uh, I don't want it, right? Because it feels good. So that's what we did. And then think about it throughout the day. If you need it, and if you do this in the morning, how do you feel in the day all day? 
you are setting the tone for entire day and I love it. Thank you so much for participating and I love the feedback. All right, how about if you move to the actual pose? I want to teach you the forehead freeze, okay? So I showed this one, I think during the uh, free training too, but what I want to do today is, of course, I want to, you know, um, I want you feel actual changes, but really focus on how you're feeling, okay? When you look at yourself in a mirror, sometimes it's very difficult, the subtle changes. Of course, that's why I recommend you take a pictures. But what I want you to do is, I really want you to focus on how you're feeling, how's the forehead feeling, okay? That's why I asked you to close your eyes, close your eyes. Because by closing your eyes, you focus on the sensation. So we are going to do this together. It's called a forehead freeze, okay? Let me first <laughs> um, challenge you. Open your eyes as wide as possible. Open, open your eyes as if you like really open eyes. You're, you're excited or you are just like open eyes. Open your eyes, okay? Open your eyes. I'm exaggerating. Okay, now don't change anything. Don't change anything. Feel the forehead. How many of you have wrinkles right now on the forehead? Or this, or this, right? If you have wrinkles right now, when I asked you to open your eyes, chances are probably throughout the day, every time you open your eyes, you're wrinkling your forehead. Or when you're thinking or reading, you're wrinkling your forehead. So what I'm going to teach you is, I'm going to stop the movement by teaching you the forehead freeze. And I give you that little variation so that you can customize it and you can really get the result you're looking for. This works for people who have asymmetrical too. Eyebrow, because I arrange it and you can get the result. All right, okay, let's do it. So first, same thing. Zip, 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 imaginary zipper. You put the zipper here and the tailbone, where is your tailbone? Feel it, feel the tailbone, okay? And now sit comfortably and relax your face, relax your body and zip it. And then you go all the way, zip, 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 and zipper all the way up, then pinky, doop, chin, chin up. Did you get that? Okay, and now we are going to put, just make sure your hands are clean, okay? So you can put hands here, okay? And if you are, instantly put one hand this and this i want to challenge you switch the position because i probably i'm probably right if you put a hand this way you always tilt the head this way right and then maybe you're lifting this i want to change that so put here and put a hand ready so the first one is a forehead freeze, but when you do it, you can also put a fingers right here on the forehead. Not this, this. It's up to your forehead. If you have a very stubborn wrinkle, okay, you can interlace your fingers too. If you're okay, you can really put, you know, feel the um, muscles. This is good too. And if you have 11 lines, when you put the fingers, trying to smooth out 11 lines. I'm going to exaggerate, okay? So put the fingers and then smooth out, almost like a V shape. Did you get that? All right, and the thumbs on the side of the temple. And then shoulder, of course, relax. Okay, relax. That's why we did the warm up pose, chest open, heart open. Okay, and then breathe in and out from your nose. Nasal breathing is a key. Breathe in and out. Breathe in out and open your eyes and look something imagine if you're looking something far away and you don't want to miss out but also it's so bright so you don't wrinkle but you just squeeze the ring muscle right here okay i'm gonna show you right here okay and when you do this obicularis oculi this this is right here that's uh um what do you call that the that is the uh, um the origin of the muscle Okay, so that means when you squeeze, and I say squeeze, imagine your muscle, eye muscles, ring muscles are going like this way, okay, this way, this way, so that you feel more movement right here. Get that? All right, let's do it. Breathe in and out from your nose, 
and look something far away and it feels did you feel that movement is going this way okay that's what we want that's what we want to hold is almost like you moving your gaze to the forehead the third eye right here and hold this for 10 seconds one two dawn hold your breath keep breathing in out from your nose three four squeeze five don't blink six seven eight nine ten good close your eyes and now are you ready open your eyes as wide as possible and you can even lift up the forehead make sure you don't have a wrinkle on your forehead okay lift up and open your eyes and hold this for 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and come out from the pose close your eyes palms up and breathe in and out from your nose how's your forehead how do you feel right now do you feel your forehead is lifted open smooth okay open your eyes right let's do the second set okay so the second set we are going to change um finger position a little bit right so let's put a hand right here on the hairline that's why I have a hairband today okay right here right here so let me show you this okay um it's a little bit a little bit the better one I think um right here oh no I think this is probably the best one Okay, right here. So we are going to really put a hand. So if you have a droopiness right here out of part, you probably want to put the fingers right here. See this, this way? Okay, do you see that? Okay, and if you have a little bit droopiness like here, right here, like, ah, oh, I don't know why mine is going droopy. You put the fingers right here and lift. So it's it's like, a, um, uh, what do you call it? The wiper goes, wee, wee. I'm gonna show this one too. Okay, can you see it? All right, so right here goes, wipe, open up right here. That's what we do. Okay, good, good. Ready? Hello, Danny. It feels open? Yes, good. We're going to open, open up, open up, yes. And then fingers on the side and hold this. And if this is hard for you, you can change the angle of your elbows or you can rest your elbows to the floor. Or table okay got it all right nose is full open good you're lifting everything up good shoulder relax and remember the imaginary zipper zip it up zip it up good open your eyes and then keep this and look something far away and if you feel a little tightness or tension on the back of the head it is okay it's absolutely normal because we are lifting this up and right here we feel tension we're gonna release it later okay open up and then squeeze oh look something fall away and remember the origin of the muscle right here so you want to kind of like move your muscle this way and focus on right here just with your gaze only oh squeeze one two three four five don't blink six seven relax your shoulders eight nine ten good and then close your eyes and now are you ready to open your eyes as wide as possible are you ready lift the forehead up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and come out from the pose and tap the back of the head you know edona um you are doing something wrong no i think you're lifting and the shoulder is tight so what you want to do is you can arrange the arm position or you can rest your elbows on a table so that you don't have much of this tightness okay and you can tap right here okay type tap 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 all right okay did you get that Let's do the third one. So third one is a very, very individual, okay? If you want to lift up, let's say, oh, I have a droopiness right here, or you can put the fingers this way, right? Or, oh, I have a um, 11 line, hunt 11 line. You can put the fingers right here and then move this up, okay? Or if one side is high, like, oh, I have asymmetry, what you can do is you can lift this side up, okay? Make sure there's no wrinkle. And then decided just place and then lift this way. 
Did it make sense? So that you look much more symmetrical. All right, let's do it. Last one. So the uh, thumbs on top of the head and the rest of the fingers up. So it's a combination of instant pick me up and then forehead freeze. Ready? I'm going to do it. Good. Close your eyes and shoulder relax and open your eyes and look something far away and hold this for 10 seconds. Don't hold your breath. Shoulder brace down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't squint. No, don't blink. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Close your eyes and now open your eyes as wide as possible. Open, but there's no wrinkle on your forehead because your fingers are smoothing it out. One, two, three, shoulder brace down, four, chest open, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, ten. Come out from the pose. One palm on your heart, another one on your tummy. Oh, how do you feel? Close your eyes, breathe in and out. Remember these feelings, open, smooth feeling on your forehead you created. Because I want you to keep this throughout the day, not wrinkling, not tightening. And then when you're ready, open your eyes. And now open your eyes as wide as possible. Open your eyes. Do you open? Can you open your eyes without wrinkling the forehead? Can you open your eyes? Wide open, big eye. Yeah, good. And if you have a little tension right here, and then Jennifer said, um, how about if I have all of it? Well, just arrange. Arrange your fingers. You have 10 fingers. Arrange it. Okay, you get that? Okay, wonderful. So this is the forehead freeze. And I kind of arranged a little bit to get the most benefit. And you definitely can arrange it. You know, but first you need to see how you actually perform. And then once you get used to it, you definitely welcome to arrange as long as you're doing right. What do you mean? What I mean doing right is rest of the face is relaxed. I don't want you to do this or, or you know, any unwanted lines you're creating. No, you need to make sure that you're doing it right. You can use, you know, all the body pose because that's really, do you, did you feel it? your stress level went down from 10, some of them are 10 to like very low. Many of you had the zero after the just warm up pose and a little bit of wow. So it's simple, but it affects you tremendously. And I'll tell you, I get stressed out. I really do. And the only thing I know is that when I get stressed out, I like, oh, I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out. I know. And then I pull myself out from the situation because I don't want to be in a stressful situation for a long time. And I just, you know, change my mindset, change my posture, and I feel so much better after that. All right, did you like it? Yeah, I hope you liked it. Good, it's nice. Yeah, thank you so much for participating. So um, I like to know last one, what's your stress level? Stress level zero is no stress at all. 10 is so stressed out very stressed out okay tell me give me the number because i like to see the number okay thank you everybody's enjoying it yeah thank you i like to know yes on oh, that zero is no stress and 10 is stressed out like so stressed out okay what's the number what's the number feeling very good okay patricia is good okay regina is yes okay good all right i guess great i think it's good everybody's just saying great okay i liked it wonderful all right so i invited you um i like to invite you to the boot camp um i don't know if you know the boot camp but i created this boot camp because people wanted to know every single day without even thinking about it i totally get it because you know there's so many pauses i do and people like okay just tell me what to do so that i don't need to think about it so that's why i created it and it's six weeks why i need six weeks because if you do six weeks something every day you get kind of like you know used to that and it becomes second nature to you and you will start if you do it every day you will start almost having like awakening sensation and not only i just teach the poses but i teach the mindset you know how to be grateful think about it. go outside and walk 20 minutes or drink this water and do this and do that so that you don't need to think about it so that's the beauty of it and if you want to think about it, you want to create by all means there's so many free contents you know we have and we have all the jumpstart and other things but the purpose of bootcamp is give you the opportunity 
to access the base yoga philosophy, lifestyle, and a mindset, and then exercise, and everything is there for you so that you don't need to create. All right. So if you enjoy this、um, today's live, there's so much more in the bootcamp, and my incredible face yoga community is starting a six week face toning,、uh, six week bootcamp on May first together. So I'm excited. You know, we had so many people do this course, and they send me every single day that their life is changing. And results are just life changing and amazing. Okay, it's not just outside; it's inside too. And by doing this together, that makes it so unique. Because I push you, my coach, my team will push you, but also you push each other. Like, okay, I do it. And sometimes we try to、um, make excuses, like I should not do it because I'm so tired. But when you see other people doing it, you do it. Because you feel like I need to do it, and that's the reason of starting together May first. I'm so excited, okay? And especially those days, many of you are staying inside, which I do hope so. And you need a body exercise. So if you don't even join the boot camp, you know, do some body exercise. And the simple one I showed you, it really turned your body. I had many students saying that they even lost some inches from the waistline. They didn't know what they're doing. What they're doing the face yoga method of poses, but you know these poses really works great oblique and the lower back and also the tummy area and having a nice、uh, posture really reduce the pouch from here, the lower part of the tummy. Okay, so don't underestimate the power of simple warm up poses because it'll change your face and change your body and change your life. All right, so do this for you. You know, if you're thinking about it, I highly recommend because it's such an easy, easy way to get started. Another thing is to keep yourself motivated and to change your life, and incredible result. And we are going to give you a special discount and get the hundred dollars off、uh, right now if you can.、Um, Also, oh, if you can also you can also pay in a two installment if you want to do that. So who is going to join me? All right, I like to yeah, I like to have you there. Okay, yeah. What do we have to do? Join the boot camp? Yes. So we are going to. So there's a link I posted. You know, on the page, this、um, live page. So go there and click. Or you can write to us info at faceyogamethod.com. So my team can help you sign up, and you can also message us here on Facebook or Instagram. All right, I'm so excited to see you all on May first. It is going to be a life changing journey, and also we renew the boot camp. So that means. More things coming. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I will, uh, Leona, I will see you there. And then, yep. Okay. Thank you so much for everybody. And、uh, my team is gonna help you. So I'll see you there. And drink a lots of water. And have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.